it that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. Fucking well, eye, mate! <laughs> <laughs> everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal, all of them legal. <laughs> <laughs> so much anyway. Well, because well, I'm, I'm your friend? You fucking idiot? Well, I was really hoping you'd do me a salad from that one time, you asshole. <laughs> I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Who's this Natsuki? She sounds hot. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Yeah, the, 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 it's so far like there. the only like fair thing this motherfucker said so far. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everything else has been just fucking asshole. Kind of douchey, and he's like, "All right, that's that's fair, I guess." I'm above you. I am the protagonist. I'm the protagonist, so I can treat you like shit. I can treat you like shit, and then at the end, I can be nice to you once, and then we'll date. And then we'll date. But that's not gonna happen. Because I hate you. <laughs> you should die. <laughs> no. 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 No, I don't want Sayori to die. Can't tell if Sayori is really that much <laughs> of an airhead. Oh, she's turning into an airhead. No, oh, God, she's floating away. It looks kind of, it looks kind of delicious. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you know the airhead. Fucking candy. Oh, the kid. Oh. Yeah. Or if she's so cunning as to be, have planned all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's neither. <laughs> I let out a long. <sighs> <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? EDP be like, oh. eat that pussy four for five. I'm here to meet a cupcake. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. That's your one. Yay, let's go. Transition. And thus, today marks the day I sold myself for a cupcake. Again, the EDP 445. <laughs> <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit because I'm stupid and I haven't graduated past fifth grade. Being generally used for third year classes and activities. Wait, what? <laughs> Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door so hard that it closes right in my face, and I leave. My nose starts pissing blood. <laughs> Everyone, the new member is here. Told you, don't call me a new member. Call me an old member. I've been here since since 1995. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says such nice things about you. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I gotta come up with a fucking funny voice. Um, seriously, you brought a boy? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the, way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, me, what a nice surprise. Oh wait, because you're doing uh, MC and Natsuki. I'm, yeah, I'm doing me, mm -hmm. Natsuki, and Monica. And you can do no, Sayori. I, 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 Oh, you want to do Monica? Okay, do Monica. Right. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she just speaks through a series of cops. So she's a smoker from Left 4 Dead. <laughs> well, while you come up with an accent, I'm gonna open my can of delicious sun up uh, sun kiss squirt. The, the thirst quencher. Welcome to the club. Oh, hey. It's a okay. Dot dot dot. That's how you know I'm confused. 
all words escape me in this situation. My boner, on the other hand, speaks a million words to these three oh, very hot girls. I hope they're of age. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. And Sayori. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in the friend zone, am I right? <laughs> what are you looking at? You want to say something, say it. Sorry. I'm instantly That's erect. <laughs> girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize, and the one I'm hardest for most. <laughs> Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's not legal. She's not legal. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's a first year. Yes, she is. She's fucking like 19. I'm serious. I. That's the, the one fact I know about DDLC, is that she's 19. Because she's, she's my favorite. I love Natsuki. If she's not 19, I know she's of age. Because we had this discussion off when we were recording Minecraft one time. And if not, the main character is of age, uh, not of age. Oh, so I guess 18. Ah! So I can jerk off. <laughs> How old are the other ones? Uh, probably also above the legal age limit. Then again, this is Japan we're talking about, so I don't really know. Probably gonna give like other people shit for because she looks so young. Oh, yeah. Alright, whatever. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have joked about Eat That Pussy 445 before I started getting a hard on for this girl. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. I'm not gonna ignore this princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Sayori says oh. this quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. She's more mature because she is mature. Absolutely. Alright, cool. Ah! It's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I've, nev I've never met this bitch in my life. That's right. It's great to see you again, me. Monica smiles sweetly while her hair floats in midair and isn't moving. Those are skirt. Her skirt is just flowing. Her skirt too, but I wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> we do know each other well, apparently. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, and also has an OnlyFans. <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. Right, cool. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little intoxicating. Wait, you actually intoxicating? What? You actually intoxicating? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing important like stuff. Yeah. You too, man. Come sit down with me. We made room for you at the table so you can sit down with me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Yeah, you do that a lot. Then how about I make some tea as well? Who I look like? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. What is this, k -on? <laughs> Get it? It's an anime on Netflix. It's actually really good. It makes... <laughs> he tries, like, making friends. He just constantly, like, like references <laughs> animes. <laughs> I'm not the person to do that. I don't know a lot of anime. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened, so, so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Should have put me next to Natsuki. Then again, should. Never mind. You can't keep your hands to yourself, you fucking. <laughs> Sayori knows that if I'm set next to a, for, to a cute girl, I'll probably touch her tits. No <laughs> ape shit. Touch the pussy. <laughs> I'll touch the coochie. <laughs> yeah, touch the coochie. They call me the coochie toucher. 
The Cooter Toucher. <laughs> That's my nickname, The Cooter Toucher. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. It's you. So cute! I had no idea you so good at making it, Suki. <laughs> well, now you know. Sorry to take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> <laughs> She's already got icing on her face. Just like how she got cum on her face last night. Oh my god. We go from like friend zoning her to just actively like putting her dick in her face. Uh, yes. Oh. Friendship We're only yet. friends until she randomly comes over to my room at night with no clothes on but a thong. And then it gets freaky. <laughs> <laughs> and then it gets freaky. But I won't let Natsuki know that. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. But rather, I want to take a bite of Natsuki's pussy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She my probably <laughs> She's probably targeting her laser vision onto, onto me to kill me right in this moment if I don't like this cupcake. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? I also heard the sound of lasers deactivating. I'm pretty sure she's letting me live this time. <laughs> Made them for you, anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Maybe! Don't trust a fucking but not for that you! Way. No, you! Oh, fuck. I'm gonna wrong. <gasps> but not for... You know, you! Dummy! All right, all right. I, got, I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation, just like I do with everything. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before settling down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You need a whole tea set in this classroom? I also don't really like tea all that much. I didn't give you permission to give me tea, though. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Not really. I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're always just trying to impress you. Eh, <laughs> that's not... Insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I... That's me, Yuri. <laughs> I'm sorry! I just can't control myself sometimes! Calm down, Yuri! <laughs> She's the fucking Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Wait, what? No, I don't. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an abre and smells at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? I literally go fuck. That's the wrong accent. Fuck. <laughs> um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't let Monica know that I was practically dragged here by so Sayori. Fuck it. I'm gonna tell her anyway. Fuck it. 
Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and so they always seem really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I feel right at home with some manga and cool anime profile. But I mean... I feel right at home with my face person. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you say to start your own club? What are you, a bitch? <laughs> You'd probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. I mean, come on, why waste your time with Sundari Girl, Weird Purple Hair Girl, and Annoying Ass? <laughs> Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Ah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budgets and publicity and how to prepare for events. Dude, it's like real world politics. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Shit. Wrong voice. Uh. <laughs> Why'd you say that about yourself? <laughs> Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Yeah, you can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting in all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Yeah, you got that right. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like a festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. Fuck it, I might! <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal, all of them legal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with this charade of their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, me, what brings you <laughs> So, me, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Twilight, <laughs> I mutter quietly, quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. But you talking about Twilight like that? What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, M Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the river to teacup with fingers. My favorites are usually novels that delve deep in complex fantasy worlds. Oh, me too! That's my shit! The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is always amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Bro, why is she speaking facts right now? Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid. <laughs> Uh, fuck! Since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. What a neat. Oh no, my levels! Uh, what'd you fuck him up? Broke the base! <gasps> Guys, Anna broke the base door like us. Psychological elements usually immerse me as well. 
isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I don't know, I don't really like people taking advantage of me. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum. The minimum. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. I'm into kinky shit. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Just like this Captain Rex X Reader fanfiction. It was 30k. I wrote it all night. You raw dog the reader into the bed. It was the hottest shit I've ever seen. I get pussy served on a plate, stick my dick in it, let it marinate. When I nut, I lose weight, I come onto my cornflakes, my jeans is whiter than snow. Your bitch gives me fellatio, my dick is hairy like a buffalo, but too bad that it's micro. My jizz is white like chalk, there's much of it in my sock. When I see big titties, I beat my fucking cock. I got so much drip everywhere, I bought a fucking Gucci chair. My bitch pussy is fucking hearing, your bitch is imaginary.